Local and state leaders announcing a joint effort to fight crime in Milwaukee. This comes after another teen death in Milwaukee. Investigators say somebody shot and killed 17-year-old Brianna Eskridge late Sunday. Neighbors say she was trying to get to a friend's home for safety. That's a 17 year old girl. She was almost through high school, had one more year. Her birthday is next month. It's like she loved by everybody. And it's like, why would y'all do this to her? There are now the same number of homicides so far this year in the city as all of last year. Some survivors of two overnight fires in Milwaukee say they are grateful to firefighters. Seven people and two dogs escaped a fire near 4th and Melvina around 3 a.m. Uh, Monday. A few hours earlier, a fire broke out inside an office at a transitional housing center at 26 and Capitol. The building did not have a lot of damage, but the smoke clouded every hallway and bedroom. We like, can't, kind of, can't breathe. It's like the cough, like the smoke is in your lung. You can't cough it or you can't cough it up. It's going to stop your lung from uh, breathing. 30 people were left homeless. The fire is under investigation. Governor Walker signed three bills on Monday in Oshkosh. The one getting the most attention bans abortions after 20 weeks. Wisconsin became the 15th state to enact that law. So many medical experts make the point that an unborn child, a uh, baby at that point, can feel pain. And uh, I think this is one of those where even for those, certainly for me as someone, my family's pro-life, but I think for people, regardless of where they might stand, when an unborn child can feel pain, I think uh, most people feel that's appropriate to be able to protect that child. Governor Walker also signed a bill that gives state troopers a 6% pay raise. Time now to check our forecast. Here's our chief meteorologist, John Milan. And we're taking a look across the southern uh, part of the Pacific Ocean right now because uh, the El Nino that has been around and very weak is starting to intensify. And you can see the orange to reddish color of the sea surface temperatures here right to the western part of South America and the Pacific Ocean. Uh, about a 1.5 degree increase in temperatures. That is very significant. So it looks like there will be an El Nino into the winter season. And if that happens, and it looks like it will, we might break our pattern of cold winters we had over the past couple of years and actually have a mild winter here. And California could have some help with their drought because generally they get very wet weather. And it looks like that's already happening. Uh, this El Nino pattern is pushing tropical systems to the north. Now they'll weaken as they get to the cold California current, but they're already bringing torrential rains to places like San Diego, Los Angeles, and also as far inland as Las Vegas. High temperatures, 82 today in Milwaukee, 84 at Green Bay, 82 in Madison with 85 degrees out in La Crosse. So it was a beautiful day across the state, very summer-like temperatures. The dew points were high in the 60s across southeastern Wisconsin ahead of a cold front. Look at the 69 in Platteville all the way into the evening hours. But those dew points are starting to drop into the 50s. That's behind a cold front. And that cold front is moving in for overnight tonight. So temperatures in the evening hours, if you're going out, will still be very summer like 81 at 7 o'clock in Milwaukee, 75 in Waukesha. So beautiful summer like evening. Dew points still a little high, a little uncomfortable. Overnight low temperatures as temperatures drop into the 50s. Uh, we will see those dew points drop also. 59 in Waukesha, 58 in West Bend, and also in Fond du Lac, 57 in Watertown and also in Beaver Dam with right around 60 degrees here in Milwaukee. There's a couple isolated showers that were on the radar for the evening hours. If you hit, hit one of those, you're uh, unfortunately having some bad luck because they are few and far between. As we pull out on the satellite picture, not many clouds either, just the clouds associated with these couple of sprinkles and showers. So we're going to be clearing out overnight tonight. There's a cold front as it passes through overnight tonight, pushes all the rain south. And then we see clear skies overnight and sunshine to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Dry air as this high pressure system moves in right through Wednesday. Small chance of an isolated shower developing inland on Wednesday. So for tonight, isolated showers before 8 o'clock, decreasing clouds after that, 60 degrees, less humid air slowly moving in. And tomorrow, cooler, less humid, lots of sunshine and 77. More of the same for tomorrow night. We'll see clearing skies, comfortable temperatures, 58 degrees and right on into the middle of the week on Wednesday. Lots of sunshine once again, seasonal temperatures, dry air, and a high of 78 degrees. Here's your storm team for seven day forecast. Thursday, beautiful, sunny and 80 degrees. Friday, a lot of sunshine and 81. Next chance for showers and storms returns on Saturday, high 81. Sunday,